special interest matters and uh, the first uh, special interest matter today is the person who's always uh, on the blocks ready to start, of course, the Honourable Member for Rosevears. And it's good to be back, Mr President. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, members, we don't hear uh, a great deal these days about justices of the peace, but we should because they fulfil a vital role for our community. I know that we have three uh, who are members and probably more of the, in the chamber. We have the member for uh, McIntyre, we have the member <coughs> for Montgomery. Montgomery and the member for Launceston. Any others? So certainly we have three JPs here uh, in our midst. But uh, one who lives in my electorate of Rosevears is Nigel Fatith and he's been working as a JP for 15 years. He's one of nine JPs who work uh, on, the, on a rotational basis in a temporary office in Henty House. And uh, as I mentioned before the winter break, they'll be moving to new premises, designated premises, in uh, the new CH Smith building. And uh, let me tell you, they're pretty excited about moving down there too. And uh, a reflection of the regard in which they're held, I think that the, uh, the Attorney General and the government have uh, agreed to provide that space for them to work in. Because, you know, that they operate a service from 10 to 3 on weekdays, and they can be very busy indeed. Nigel Fatith deals with between 150 and 200 documents a day. And over a year, that would be about 30,000 plus documents. And it's interesting that all that work is voluntary. And uh, as uh, Nigel told me on Friday, uh, he says it keeps his mind active, certainly during uh, retirement. Uh, he was motivated to become a JP uh, when he retired as a professor of aquaculture uh, by his son, uh, who is a police officer, and he said, when they were having a discussion about, uh, about <coughs> life in Launceston, he said, Dad, you really don't know what goes on out there. So uh, Nigel set about uh, discovering, and he has found out, and he'll keep contributing as a JP, because that work is very much needed on the legal side of, our, uh, of the law in, uh, in northern Tasmania particularly. But uh, you, might, you might have heard that name, Nigel Petit. He was actually the Professor of Aquaculture who set up the uh, seahorse farm at Beauty Point, which is also in my electorate. Uh, now, Nigel helps a vast cross-section of the community on many issues, like emergency travel documents, uh, death certificates and marriage issues. And an important part of his role is to explain the seriousness of documents like statutory dec declarations to young people who, of course, have a developing understanding of the law. And he also handles a very large number of police and search warrants, which is part of the process. And he said that he never knows from day to day what next will walk through his office door. JPs uh, aren't required to hold a law degree, but they do need to obtain a legal education, be a good citizen and pass police checks. And I would suggest too, have unlimited patience as well with the number of inquiries that come through. And if you've been to a JP recently, they're very meticulous in, uh, in their filling out of documents and certainly take their time. And undertake the course. And under, yes, I'm about to talk about that. But at the, at the moment, there are only four uh, bench justices in Launceston, and that number is expected to increase to nine next month. JPs, who have been authorised by the Chief Magistrate, may perform what is termed as bench duty. That involves sitting in after-hours courts, out-of-hours courts, to deal with uh, matters relating to bail, sitting in courts dedicated to traffic and parking offences, and also presiding over the taking of depositions in respect of indictable matters that are to be heard and determined in the Supreme Court. Tasmanian bench justices meet regularly to discuss any areas or issues of interest, as well as changes which may occur in legislation developed here and also procedures. Tasmania's JPs keep up to legal speed, Mr President, by attending regular refresher courses. In fact, one was held in Launceston earlier this month. Um, but uh, as I said at the beginning, Mr President, justices of the peace in Tasmania perform a vital role. Without them, our entire justice system would be in real trouble. So I salute our JPs. Compensation. Yeah. 